to another episode of Thrifting. I'm just in the old caches and I've seen some 39 pence um, PS2 games. Um, first one that popped out was Die Hard Vendetta. Um, I have got Die Hard Vendetta on um, original Xbox, but um, I'm, I'm set up for PS2 right now and PS3 and PS1 because I've got my fat backwards compatible PS2 free out. So it's going to be a bit more convenient having it on um, PS2 because I'm planning on streaming that one at some point. So yeah, it was um, for 39p. It was worth getting just for the convenience of having it on that format, as well as um, Kingdom Hearts 2 and Kingdom Hearts 1 for 39p. Um, there's always there's always some credit in them. Um, it's up and down quite a bit, to be fair. Um, it's not a lot, but it always fluctuates between like uh, one pound and two pound. <laughs> but um, same with um, Ridge Racer 5. That's always up and down. I've had it a few times and. Um, one week it's never been worth trading in because um, they'll only give you like one pound twenty for it, and then sometimes it goes up to like three quid or something like that. So yeah, it was, it's, it's definitely worth getting. Plus, I do like the Ridge Racer games. Um, I'm, I've never played a bad one, I don't think. Um, Ridge Racer is kind of hard. That's like my only criticism of the franchise. Um, it, even Ridge Racer 64 is pretty good. But anyways, yeah, that's enough um, me gushing over Ridge Racer games. <laughs> but yeah, 39p, no brainers, <laughs> um, easy. Um, next one up, we have um, Game of Thrones season eight again, and I was confused because there was no front cover. Um, it just had you know the swords off the the throne on the front. So I was looking it up on my phone to riddle it out, and um, it turns out it's just missing the outer sleeve. There's like another sleeve that goes over it. But I won't too bother because it still still says Game of Thrones on the span. So I got this one for two quid. Um, my plan is to trade the one that I bought for four quid in, which gives me six quid credit. So I'm going to keep this one for my collection, and then trade the other one in, which I'm not bothered because it'll still look right on the shelf because it says it on the on the side. So yeah, not a bad crack really. Um, I'm break even on series eight of Game of Thrones right now. <laughs> if we find it again though, like. Um, I'll buy it again, but I don't think I could trade it in without the sleeve. So that's the one I'm keeping. So we're in um we're in CX and I'm looking for some Rambo. Um it's weird, um I think watching Die Hard just kicks every everyone off into action movie season. I mean, it does in my house anyways. Um but it's weird I've I've been speedrunning um Die Hard Two off Die Hard Trilogy. That's a film set at Christmas that's based on a book. <laughs> And the same with um, First Blood. That's also set at Christmas and it's based on a book. And I'm, play I'm playing the video adaptation of that as well. Weird coincidence, but um, I thought I'd give it a go. It's, it's got a bad rap, this Rambo game. but um, I didn't like the fact that it was a reprinted front cover, but I just had to suck it up because it's the only one in Hull. So if I want to play it, I have to buy that one. Can't buy it off the store anymore, I don't think. Um, so now we're in um, YMCA. Um, it's fairly new this charity shop I don't really buy much from here but I did see not another team movie on um, UMD um, yeah I'm going to buy that <laughs> um, it's, it's coming in a bit thrifty I think it's um, it's 3 quid in CEX or maybe £2.50 I think it's a pound cheaper I can't remember this was a bit ago this footage so I can't remember when I checked it but I know it's cheaper <laughs> and then buying it from CEX but I mean it's a classic isn't it I mean who don't like another team movie <laughs> it's in <freaking> Stella <laughs> I mean, as far as though there's not another kind of movies go, like, you know, like Epic Movie and Meet the Spartans and all that lot. I mean, that was the trailblazer, wasn't it? That was the one that <laughs> brought it back, that kind of genre. Um, a few vinyls, um, weighed up by Cameo, 12-inch single. <laughs> I was like, it was a bit beat up. I couldn't leave it behind. It was only a quid. <laughs> um, I nearly got this Rowan Atkinson one as well, but for some reason I decided to put it back, um... But yeah, I mean, it's, they don't go anywhere in this charity shop. These records have been here forever. And I found the Monty Python's Instant Record Collection, which is like a greatest hits of all, all the different ones. So I thought, yeah, for a pound. I have seen some Monty Python records before, but they're all like seven or eight quids. And I was like, mm, I could probably find it cheaper. Um, and we're in um, Longsdale Charity Shop now. And I've seen Red Alert 3. The, all the games were £1.50. Um, some of them were like... Under underneath the thrift line, <laughs> like they were a bit more expensive than CX, not by much. I think they were fifty p, dearer maybe. Um, but I, at the time my phone had died, so I was just taking a punt. I was just buying stuff I wanted really. Our last had just give me our last one the bingo the other night, so she gave me thirty quid in cash. 
out of it <laughs> to go thrifting. I was like, sweet. <laughs> so I was being a bit of a spend thrift, but you know what are you gonna do? I mean, the the price might go up, might go down, but it was mostly stuff I wanted to play anyways. I mean, Far Cry Three. I think that's gonna scratch the Rambo itch. When I realise that Rambo game shit, the Hannah want to blow stuff up. I think that's gonna scratch the itch. So um, I decided to get that. Um, it was um, Sniper Elite V3, Red Alert, um, We Sing Onka. Um, Sing Stars had a bit of a resurgence in my house over Christmas. So I've decided to like pick up some more singing games. So yeah, Far Cry 3, Sniper Elite V2, Red Alert 3, um, We Sing Onka, and uh, Dark Siders 2. <laughs> We're in Dove House, and I'm getting a Batman Turner Overdrive. Um, best of so far which is an absolute banger because it's got um, taking care of business on it which is a it's a bit of a thrift anthem for me that back when um, back when I was just doling it up <laughs> like it was a brief spell that between like um, I think it was the back end of 2013 I was on the dole for like uh, uh, about three months and that was like my anthem because I just went thrifting <laughs> instead <laughs> I mean I was looking for a job as well I mean eventually I found one but um, yeah, that was like what I used to listen to, because um, every I was just it was just thought it was funny. <laughs> um, bit of labber, <laughs> weird to see this. Um, yeah, a cardboard labber set with the thing with the cartridge and that. Um, sweet um, connect roller coaster as well. I just thought it'd be worth worth putting in the video. Just I've never seen one out in the wild, but yeah. Look, Smithers, it's Lebo. <laughs> it's just, it's a weird thing. I, I think it's a bit naff, to be fair. But, anyways, Mer Singstar popped out, which is crazy because this is literally what I went out to find was the Singstars. And it, it was a bit dubious because I wasn't sure which ones I'd got and which ones I hadn't because we've got quite a few. Um, but no, I did quite well. Um, I didn't buy any duplicates to do, which I have done in the past. I've got two copies of Pop World and Volume 2 on PS3. But yeah, R&B R R we didn't have. Um, and the Volume 3 on PS3 was the other one that I had in my hand. And I think I bought, one, I think I bought the ABBA one as well. <laughs> I mean... Personally, I'm not that big on ABBA, but someone might get drunk enough to want to sing it. <laughs> if you come to my house, you might get ABBA drunk. You know what I mean? It's like, I, I like to have options. And with the app, um, if you've got PS3, if you download the app, um, you can put PS2 and PS3 sing star discs in regardless of what, what, what it is. You don't have to be a backwards compatible PS3 either. You could just put PS2 games in a, any PS3 with the sing star app and it'll read the disc. Which is quite good. It's like the nearest it got to universal backwards compatibility. But yeah, I was just mulling over what was on the songs. I wasn't sure. I was like, but it's going to be easier from this point onwards because um, I've took a picture of all the SingStar games I've got so I can um, I can check it for reference. And um, there is some weird SingStar games though. There's um, that Australian um, kids TV show. Is it the 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 Wiggles or something? Yeah, they've got the. They've got one. <laughs> I was like, everyone knows that. Like, yeah, cold spaghetti, cold spaghetti. I was like, I might get that. I, I can't remember what they're called. Though. I think I think I've got the name wrong. To be fair, but then um, yeah, Rocky Balboa on um, PSP um, for one pound fifty as well. I I didn't know if it was thrifty or not. I didn't check. I was just because I'm on a bit of a Stallone kick right now with all the Rambo in. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm gonna probably I eventually end up watching all the Rockies. That's usually what happens. I watched Die Hard at Christmas. Then we end up watching Rambo. And then I end up watching all the Rockies. Um, so we're in um, the Dog Rescue now. Um, Cotton Gum Dog, Dog Rescue, which is down Newland Avenue for some reason. But um, never mind. <laughs> it's, it's in the wrong place, but it's got some games for me. Uh, it's Halo um, Combat Evolved um, Anniversary Edition. The 360 version. I think this is the same version that's on the Master Chief Collection that ended up on Xbox One in it. But um, yeah, it's just cool just to have the 360 version on its own. Um, I remember being pretty impressed the fact that you can switch between old graphics and new graphics. I thought that was a nice touch. Um, one thing that um, Fur Free Fur Studios got right, wasn't it? <laughs> Not like people hate on them a bit, don't they? Especially for um, Halo Infinite when it first came out. Anyways, uh, 
It was only a quid, so absolute no-brainer. I'm going to buy that for a quid, aren't I? Um, in cashes again, different one this time. And um, Sing Style 1 popped out. Um, there was a few others as well. Um, I cut to it in a minute because the footage was a bit it was a bit trash. I was um, My head was all over the place. I thought I'd just cut to the chase. Um, I did see Sing Style Abba again, um, but um, I, didn't want, I didn't feel like buying it again, even though that one's got more on it. Yeah, that was probably the better version, but yeah, I got the tech that one and Murtown. And then, yeah, I was coming in. This is the last one up, I think, but yeah, Dr. Rook, make make love and music. Um, it's got um, sleeping late on it and um, work right in. It's got some, it's got some bangers on it. And um, two quid, absolute no brainer. I was happy with that. So, yeah, that's everything I got this time thrifting. If you like this video, be sure to thumbs it up and subscribe to the channel. Um, you can always check out the old blog at thriftbites.com. You can sometimes catch me live at twitch.tv forward slash thriftbites. You can see what I'm up to on X at twitter.com forward slash thriftbites. And you can see these all re uploaded on Odyssey at odyssey.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.